In this short video, we will discuss parallel computing and architecture. Parallel computing refers to carrying out more than one calculation simultaneously. By a specific mechanism, large problems are divided into smaller ones and are executed at the same time. Then results of smaller problems executed in parallel are combined. There are four main methods of parallel computing to execute different parts of a program simultaneously. They are bit-level parallelism, instruction level parallelism, data level parallelism, and task level parallelism. In bit level parallelism, word size of the processor is increased. Since word size defines the size of data that can be used by CPU in a single operation, higher the word size, less operation would be required. Lower the word size, more operations would be required. For example, on 32-bit data value, 8-bit processor would take 4 operations but 16-bit processor would take only two operations. In instruction-level parallelism, multiple instructions are executed in different execution units at the same time. Same type of instruction can be given to one execution unit. For example, operations on integers can be assigned to one execution unit, while another execution unit is assigned operations of multirational numbers. This type of parallel computing occurs in superscalar processors that have different execution units for different types of instructions. In data level parallelism, a single set of instruction is run on different data sets at the same time, that is single instruction, multiple data sets. This approach is also known as synchronous processing, that is applying same process to different data sets. In task level parallelism, different processors can execute different tasks on different on data sets. This is same a concept as pipelining. Pipelining in pipelining, first processor performs its job on data set and uh, data set and gives output to second processor. Second processor performs its job and hands output to third. This process continues until the program is, is executed. Point here to note is that in data level parallelism, each processor is doing the same thing. In task level parallelism, each processor is doing a different thing to the same data set. There are many mechanisms by which parallel computing is carried out using specific hardware architectures. There are computers with multiple cores or CPUs. Each core can have multiple execution units for faster execution of a program. Superscalers have separate execution units for specific kinds of tasks. Symmetric multiprocessors have multiple identical cores or CPUs that share the same memory to work on the problem simultaneously. That's all in this video. We will discuss another topic related to computer science in next video.